welcome back to happiest girls on earth if you're new here my name is nicole and today's video is going to be so exciting more exciting than usual because i'm here to announce that i'm going to disney world it's been a long time since i've actually sat down and filmed a sit down video for you guys but i'm really excited because this one is a trip announcement and also a pack with me because I'm leaving in less than a week for Disney World's 50th anniversary and opening day of the Ratatouille ride. So I'll be going to Walt Disney World from Thursday night to Monday morning, so sort of like a little long weekend. And Laura and I have some very exciting just plans overall. We are going to the opening day of Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. We are going to the 50th on October 1st. We may even be meeting a really famous Imagineer. Stay tuned for that. And also, we are bringing back Dare Days. So if you guys are following along on our last trip, Lauren and I came up with a few video ideas and we decided to do Disney Dares and those are so funny and quite a hit so we are bringing them back for this long weekend so that's a little sneak peek into what we're planning for the weekend you are definitely going to want to subscribe because we have many surprises coming your way and even coming lauren's way so you're gonna want to stay tuned for that but this is a pack with me, so let's get into packing with me. So I've decided that I'm not going to check a bag for this trip because it's only a long weekend and I don't really want to have to deal with like checking a bag. So I'm bringing the same Winnie the Pooh suitcase and also I am bringing my duffel bag or travel bag. It's probably a little bigger than a duffel bag. So this actually, this bag should actually hold a lot. And the reason I'm bringing both is also because this suitcase is awesome, and I'll show you why, but it doesn't hold a ton of stuff, so that's why I'm bringing a travel bag as well, because I just have a feeling I'm going to be coming home with many souvenirs. But let's get into it. So I've already pulled some clothes and some items that I'm going to be bringing, but I'm definitely not done. So I'm going to open this. And like I said, this bag is awesome because it has this little layer, zippered layer here, which I actually keep my ears in. It actually really protects the ears. So I'm going to be bringing these tie-dye ears that I got on my last trip. I'm also bringing these silver ears that I've brought in on many of my trips with the Gold Bowen Castle. And also, and also, I just turned 21, so for my birthday, my family got me these cute 21 ears, so I will be bringing these. And then the few last things that are in the zippered pocket are a bag of masks, and also three magic bands. And for a closer look at these magic bands, also for some weird reason, my annual pass doesn't work on my phone. So I don't know why I can't add that to my Apple wallet like everyone else does. So I will be bringing my magic bands. So we have the millennial pink with the annual pass holder little accessory here. Also bringing this blue Disney cuties. And it has a bunch of characters on it. And we also have this Minnie Mouse main attraction Jungle Cruise magic band as well. I loved this month. And that seems to be the only thing in that pocket. We can now dive deeper into the main part of the suitcase. So the next main portion of the suitcase, as you could tell, not a ton of stuff, but we do have the Pooh Bear backpack showing. And I will be bringing the Pooh Bear backpack again. And I'm actually putting some things in him, you know, for more space. And I just have my little toiletry bag. And it's like brush, toothbrush, deodorant all things like that and it's in this Vera Bradley a little travel case and it fit pretty well in the Pooh Bear bag so that's where it will be safe it will be stored to save space I also just have a little pouch for my chargers and also a portable charger so I will be using this on the plane but also this in the Pooh Bear backpack when we're traveling around the parks I also have my other wallet. It's just a green wallet from Target, but this is not the wallet I currently use, but I feel that it fits better 
in the Pooh Bear backpack, so I'm going to move everything over to this wallet. And that's honestly it for this suitcase because there's a few surprises for Dare Day and other surprises in general that I actually can't show you guys yet for a few reasons. One, the surprise for the vlogs and you're going to think they're so funny. But also two, Lauren actually can't know because there's surprises for her as well. A little similar to like the Joe Rody shirts when I didn't show you in the last pack with me, but then I gifted her the Joe Rody t-shirts. Similar to that. So again, be subscribed and be ready for some hilarious content. But so some of that stuff is actually coming in this suitcase and I just can't show you guys. But also I'm not packing these suitcases to the brim. Like I said, I'm going to be bringing probably a lot of stuff home and I didn't, I'm not checking a bag. So now I'm gonna show you the duffel bag. All right, here's the duffel bag. It's actually just a big Nike travel bag that I use for like college and stuff. So I will be just using it for this trip. So before we get into the main pouch, I'm gonna show you the side pouch. And I'm going to be bringing a pair of old gym shoes just in case it rains and my other gym shoes get wet. And also, I know these don't give me blisters, so just in case I get blisters somehow, I know these are good shoes for parks. And the only other thing I have in this side pocket right now is some gum <laughs> for the plane, but just some extra spearmint for the plane and for the parks in general. And now for the big pocket see what we have in here okay so i started pulling clothes like i said so i brought these running shorts to go with the joe Rody t-shirt and i will actually walk you through the outfit ideas that i have in just a few short moments but running shorts for that since it's an oversized t-shirt and then some black leggings I don't think it's supposed to be cold, but I'm bringing leggings just in case it gets cool at night or anything like that. And then I'm bringing two pairs of jean shorts to go with some t-shirts and some tank tops that I'm bringing. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some outfit ideas I have and what occasion I think I'm going to wear them for. So let's go look at the outfits. The first outfit I have planned is a more casual one because it's my outfit for the plane. So I just have some black leggings and this classic Walt Disney World yellow shirt that I feel like everyone has. And I'll either wear this jean jacket over it or a black and white flannel just because I'm going for a more casual look on the plane and I'm sure it's probably gonna be a little chilly too. My next outfit is my October 1st outfit for the opening day of Remy's Ready to Be Adventure and Lauren and I have matching shirts and we are going to be wearing these little chef with Remy on a blue comfort color t-shirt and with this I'm just gonna wear some black jean shorts and it's gonna be a super cute matching look. Also, my sister got me this Ratatouille crew neck for my birthday. So I'll be bringing this too, just in case it's a little chilly in the morning or at night. But look at how awesome this sweatshirt is. And Lauren and I are also dressing up for when we go to Magic Kingdom on October 1st for the 50th anniversary. And I got this pink dress from Target. So cute. You can see like the detail here. My idea was that I wanted like a pastel or iridescent color, you know, to match the vibe of the 50th anniversary. And I'll probably wear this jean jacket over this if it's chilly at night or if we're going inside or eating inside somewhere. But I think it's going to be a really cute look, especially with maybe my tie-dye ears. Okay, this is rapid fire now. So I have four t-shirts in my hand that I'm bringing. And the first one is this pastel pink Mickey taking a selfie in front of the castle t-shirt. And I don't know if I'm going to wear this in the park yet or on the way home. I'm not really sure yet. So I thought I have an extra Disney t-shirt to throw in my suitcase. Now the next t-shirt, there's a little bit of a hint of the Imagineer we might be meeting. And Lauren and I are actually going to be wearing matching monorail shirts, which we wore on our first trip to Disney in February 2019. And we are bringing them back for the special occasion. And then, of course, I'm bringing the famous Joe Rody t-shirt because I feel like now I can't go to Animal Kingdom and not wear those for all of his artwork. 
make sure to check out our Joe Rody appreciation day that we did. Now that you've seen my outfits, that actually wraps up the pack with me. I'm actually not packing a ton of stuff this trip because it's only for a long weekend and I also want to bring some things home so I'm not bringing a ton but I did want to show you guys what I am bringing and also let you guys know when I'm going on my Walt Disney World trip as a little trip announcement just to keep you guys updated but you're going to want to watch out for vlogs and other in park and fun content like Disney Dare Days and I'm just so excited to finally be down there and to see Lauren again but other than that I'll see you guys next week bye